Sayes 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 Hi again everyone Welcome to another Oynish vlog Today I am in Roslyn along the Roslyn Glen which is in the background and I'll be foraging for grown elder or sias and I'll be foraging in this area and I like to let you have a look at some of the potential for getting grown elder because right where I am it's just right there on the ground loads of it it's everywhere and this is just one area in Roslyn and maybe one area along the glen the coastal glen stretches all the way going back that side and that way look Sayes, Crown Elder they're everywhere yes yeah, so let's go that way and see so yes it's, it's covering that it all over please note that science our grown elder does get larger than this definitely these are quite small in comparison to the size that they normally grow to so don't see this as the end result it's early spring and they're just coming up but I forage for some of them now because of the tender leaves as in a previous vlog I did in Musborough I tend to look for these leaves the new leaves as you can see the one on the right is it's just a, it's green but it's shiny as opposed to the one to the left it's the one on the right that I'm more interested in the new leaves they're ideal for salads but they can be used in soups too so I guess if you're making a wild garlic soup you could add a little ground elder to it or if you're making a salad I'm wondering a potato salad that's the thing I've never thought of it a potato salad with ground elder gosh <laughs> it just boom it's like a bulb went off in my head there you go a potato salad with crown elder I wonder what that would be right. I should try it you know maybe that's the thing I should try a potato salad with crown elder naturally it could be just a normal salad vegetable salad with mixed lettuce rockets and so forth and you throw in the crown elder that's straightforward yes but I never really thought of a potato salad gosh <laughs> it's like the light bulb just boom, switch on and here we've got a nice cluster of plants the new leaf they tend to come in sevens or eights eight um, leaves at a time yeah so maybe that's the focus the, to get some to make a potato salad this time because as I said normally everybody know to make an, an ordinary salad they just put leaves together and whatever but a potato salad mm -hmm. although potato salad tend to be ideal during summer but it's Britain Britain the British eat potato all the time so potato salad comes up on the menu all year round because potato is plentiful in this place so so maybe a spring potato salad what do you think you think that would be great a spring potato salad 
Uh, I'll see. I'll see. Yeah. But first, I need a container. So, here I've got my container for putting the, the Sias, our ground elder. As you can see, it's a tiny one. I don't need a lot. I don't tend to forage for loads of ground elder, you know, but because I'm in the glen, I, I might as well make use of getting some to take home. And as I said, try it with a potato salad and to see what it's like as i said i've never done it before but maybe this is a chance to do it yeah to do it so i'm going to put the head pro on so you can journey along with me as i go foraging for ground elder along the Roslyn glen okay so here i am getting my ground elder hopefully you can see clearly i have to keep adjusting the Head Pro. So it's the the new leaves, and just in this cluster alone, there's just so much of it. So I think I'm fortunate to stumble upon this nice patch of grown elder. I did a vlog in Mossyboro wearing. I did a pre-spring vlog on ground elder or sias. So I went there in Musselboro during February to see where the ground elders were. And there was this really nice area that have loads of ground elder plants. Yes, they were quite young at the moment. Very tiny, just pushing through the earth. But I went back last week and I was so surprised because Apparently in that area, there are log, there are trees. Well, there were trees, but I think there was some type of logging activity, which rendered that patch, um, not, I wouldn't say useless, but <laughs> made, make it difficult to source ground elder, simply because the logs have covered maybe half of the surface area where I would have normally gotten ground elder plants or sias. So that was, a, I wouldn't say disappointment, but maybe because the East Lothian Council um, had the reasons why they did the logging. So I can't complain. It's just what it is, you know. But fortunately, here I am with no logging activity. There are no trees to be logged. Maybe that one get away, cut it down. Maybe. So at least this part is okay. Just no, no cutting down of anything here in Roslyn along the Roslyn Glen. I need to fold this. Okay. Hope you're seeing okay. Um, hope the camera is. Sometimes I can't tell after. Try and get the best angle so you can forage with me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so as I said. As I was talking earlier on that chances are I'll probably use it to make a potato salad. I've never... Uh, using it to just make a regular salad is pretty straightforward, you know. But I think a potato salad would be nice. And okay, so I've got my ground elder as you can see, Arsias. 